Howdy friends, Travis here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom picture-in-picture -picture template in Photoshop that you can use in vMix. Now vMix has a bunch of templates already built into their uh, virtual inputs, and they're super cool, and you can change the backgrounds and inputs and all that. Um, but I was over at the Live Streaming Pros channel on YouTube uh, with David and Luria, and if you haven't checked those guys out, check them out because... They are um, a wealth of information if you're starting to learn, you know, get into live streaming, if you're learning about it, if you want to take it to the next level. Definitely check out those guys because they are awesome. They've got great tips. And they do a bunch of live streams. So I was in there one day and they put up the picture in picture. And it's exactly what I was going to do today. I was like, saw the, you know, David was up here and then over here he had uh, a web browser, I think it was. So in the, in the chat, I said, David, how do you how do you do that? How do you make your custom template? And he's like, he says, oh, well, you just go into a program like Photoshop and, you know, you can make, um, you just draw out what you want to show through your, your transparency and you make a transparent layer with an alpha channel and then you export it and bring it into vMix. And I, so it got me thinking, wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try to do it. So after tinkering around a little while, I kind of figured it out. Again, I'll say it later, but I'm, I'm not a I'm not a Photoshop guru or person by any means, and uh, I really don't know what I'm doing. So I did it. This is the way I did it. It's probably not the best way, most fastest time management, whatever. But it works. So um, let's dive into Photoshop now, and we'll get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and first thing I'm gonna do is go File New, and that's gonna bring up a new document here, and Adobe has made some nice presets for us to work uh, work off of, which is really great. So if you go to the upper right here, it says Film and Video. So I'm going to click that. And if you go All Presets, you can see all the presets built with the built-in um, aspect ratios um, for video projects. And the upper left-hand corner here says HDTV 1080p 1920 by 1080. That is what we want because our... Uh, vMix uh, preset is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to click that. Over here you can change the background and um, all sorts of things you can do, but we're not going to deal with that right now. So we're just going to hit create. Boom. We have a nice blank canvas to start our work on. And what's nice about the presets is it um, it generates these um, these guidelines so you can see your title safe area, which is awesome. So you know where you are uh, when you're working within the within the um, canvas here. And I've got my ruler set on so I can snap to the guides and whatnot. So it works out pretty well. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to change this background layer um, to a different color. So if you go over the layers here, it says background. Because it's the background layer, it's locked. You can't do anything to it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to double click it. Layer zero. We could rename it if we want to. I'm not going to. Layer zero is fine. So now that it's a layer zero, it's not locked anymore, we can go ahead and play around with this. So I'm going to go in my color palette over here on the right and find a nice dark blue to be our background color. So I'm going to go over here to my paint bucket and I'm just going to click, boom. So that's going to be our background layer. You could import an image, you could do whatever you wanted. I'm just being kind of simple right here, but this is a nice clean blue and it's going to be perfect for our background. So now what we want to do is we want to make the template so we know where we're going to put the PowerPoint within the picture-in-picture. -picture. The easy way to do this, because this is 1920 by 1080 already, we want to keep that um, aspect ratio. So you could go up here and draw a box, but it might not be the same exact size. So because we're starting with 1920 by 1080, the easy way to do that is I'm going to select a new, uh, new layer, make a new layer here, so I've got a new layer, and I'm just gonna make this black just because it's easy to see. So I'm just gonna, new layer, um, change this to black, and boom. So we have a new layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to Edit, Transform, and go to Scale. And now I'm gonna start in the upper left, and I'm not going to hold any keys down. I'm just going to click and drag. And you can see that the aspect ratio is locked. So you still get that 16 by 9 
aspect ratio is what we want. So we're gonna we got this uh, box and we want to position it where we think we want the um, picture in picture to be. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger and I'm gonna line it up with my guides so it's on the outside. That looks like it's right in the middle, um, centered of the uh, top to bottom. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep that there. So let that go, hit the re enter button, boom. There's our box. So that's where the PowerPoint, once we get it in the vMix, is gonna live. But the beauty about doing your own picture-in-picture -picture template is that you can customize it a little bit. Now, in vMix, they have some pretty nice templates already made. Um, side by side, um, you know, top to bottom. You can go in there and under the virtual sets and you can look at the templates that they have. And it's great because you can put any camera source or any uh, input source behind, you know, in that spot. And it's, it's nice. It works great. But what I want to do is I really want to customize this a little bit. And I want to make it look, you know, kind of unique, kind of my own. So I've got this box here, but I was like, mm. you know, I really wish that this rectangle um, had rounded corners. So what I'm going to do to make that happen is I'm going to make a new layer. Got my new layer here. I'm going to go over to my rectangle tool here, fill. I'm going to fill it with black. And I'm going to put my uh, cursor, my crosshairs, right on the edge of where the box is now. Right about there. I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to basically trace this other box. And it's a rounded rectangle. So when I let go, boom, rounded rectangle. So it adds a little bit of character to it. You know, it's not just a straight box. So I'm going to hit enter. Now, since that's there, I don't need, I don't need this other layer that I made of the first rectangle. The only reason why I made that again is to make the aspect ratio um, 16 by 9. So I'm going to delete that. So I'm just going to click, drag, bring it down to the trash, and now I have this nice rectangle um, with rounded corners. But I even want to go one step further and I want to put a nice border on that. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go over to the layer. I'm going to double click it and it's going to bring up the layer style palette. And I'm going to go over to stroke and boom, look at that. I've got a nice white border. Again, I can go down here. I can make it as thick as I want. I can change the color. I like four. I think four is a good, um, a good stroke size there. And I'm gonna leave it white. So we're done, right? I'm gonna hit click. So now, now I do not pretend to be any sort of Photoshop um, master by any means. In fact, I'm. Pr it's pretty rudimentary to me. But um, this is how I do this. And I'm sure there's other ways you can add alpha channels and do all this stuff and. I'm sure there's more, it's more efficient. Like, why don't you do it that way? Well, this is the way I do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I've got my rounded rectangle layer, but it's a smart object and I need to make it into an object that we can sort of play around with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to raster the layer style, not the layer, the layer style. So if I click on that, Boom. So now I can go in here and play around with this a little bit. And what we're going to do to cut our hole to make it transparent is I'm going to go over to my magic wand and my selector here, magic wand tool, and I'm going to click into the black to select it. When I do that, notice how it selects the black, but it does not select the white border, which is perfect, right? So now I'm going to hit delete. Boom. Black is gone. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit select the blue layer. I'm going to hit delete. Bam. There's our transparency. So I'm going to uh, hit control D to deselect that. Awesome. So now we have the whole cutout for our PowerPoint. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to make a hole for the presenter to be in. So again, same thing that we did before. I'm going to make a new layer, 
bring that up to the top. Layer one, we'll call it. Um, this time, because we don't really care about the aspect ratio per se, we're not trying to get it to that perfect um, 16 by nine, we can skip the part of bringing another layer and doing all that. So we'll just go to the rounded rectangle. And again, I'm gonna use these the guides here. So I'm gonna kind of do something, you know, maybe like, maybe like that. This is where the person's gonna be. So I've selected it, boom, rounded rectangle. Uh, double click it, brings up my layer style. I'm gonna hit stroke. It's, it remembers my last stroke, so it's telling me that it's, um, oops, click down here so you can see it. So it's four and it's, um, the size is four and again, it's white, so I hit okay. I'm gonna go over, I'm going to right click on that layer, rasterize layer style boom and get my magic wand over here my selector and I'm gonna click in the black it selects it I hit delete and then I go down to the white and it's already selected I hit delete boom control D so now we have our template again where the checkerboard is that's gonna be transparent so how do we get this in the vMix? So now what we need to do is we need to save it. So I'm gonna to go to File, and I'm gonna go Save As, and we're gonna save this as a PNG. And what that will do is that will keep the transparent background of the holes that we cut out. So PNG, and I'm gonna hit Save, and we want a large file size, perfect. Okay, so now we're done in Photoshop. Let's head back over to vMix and see how all this is gonna to come together. So here we are back in vMix, and what we need to do is first look at our inputs and see what we have. So if we go over here, we can see that we have the cam link, which is bringing in my camera, and I've got a uh, PowerPoint slide that we'll use for our PowerPoint demo. And what we need to do now is we need to bring in the PNG file that we created in Photoshop. So we're gonna go down to add input and we're going to go to image. We're gonna go browse and here it is, Untitled 4. That is the PNG file that we made and exported from Photoshop. So we hit okay and here it is in vMix. So if we put it in preview, you can see that it's just, um, it's got the black where we want the video to be. So now I'm gonna show you how to get that um, transparency or the black to actually show the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into add input. Actually, instead of clicking add input, we're gonna click this little um, arrow box next to it. And that's just a quick menu here. And we're gonna go to blank. So I'm gonna bring in a blank input. So this input is completely blank and now what we can do is we can actually customize this input to whatever we want. And what we wanna do is do a multi-view. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is go into here and I'm gonna click the little gear icon and that's gonna bring up some options here. And what we wanna do is on the left, we're gonna to go to multi-view. So we go to multi-view and we have 10 layers of different things that um, options that we can put in here. Um, but what we want to do is make our custom picture in picture. So I'm going to go to layer three because anything that you put under the transparent background is what's going to show up. So number three is going to be our um, picture in picture PNG. So I'm going to click that and there it is. So now how we get the uh, video layers underneath that is um, layer two, we will choose the picture or the PowerPoint demo JPEG. So I'm going to click that and look at that. Wherever it was black is now the um, PowerPoint. But you're like, well, it's 1920 by 1080, so it's taking up the full screen. How can we just put it in the box? All you need to do is go up here to position, and we are now going to just take the zoom slider. We're going to zoom it down and we're gonna move it over. And because I know that this, it's the same 16 by nine aspect ratio, it's gonna fit in here perfectly once I size it up. And bring it over 
work just a hair. Whoops, other way. Mm -hmm. I need to make it just a tad bigger. There we go. And then slide it over. Perfect. There we go. So we got that set up. And now we want to put the speaker, which in this case is me, into the other box. So we're going to go back to multi view. And input number one here, we're going to choose uh, the cam link because that's my camera. Um, same thing, you can see it's showing up here. So we need to go into position and we need to zoom. So we're going to zoom down and we're going to move it over a little bit. There we go. And let's do that. And we're going to bring it up. And there you go. That's pretty good. So now we click out of that and we go here. Perfect. So in a typical presentation where you have a speaker and a PowerPoint, you know, you'd have the speaker here and the speaker would be talking and he would say, or she would say, okay, now we're going to cut to the slide. So we would just fade in our slides and go through a couple slides. And then say we get to a slide that's a little detailed and um, you want to see the speaker and the slide at the same time. So all we need to do is put that in preview, then fade it in, and then boom. We see the speaker talking to the slide, and they can you know, talk about what's going on there, different aspects of it, and so you can see both, which really adds to the quality of your production. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, pretty simple. Uh, you know, it's a couple steps, but once you get it down, it's a really flexible way to make some pretty cool picture-in-picture -picture templates. So if you like this video, hit subscribe, like, the bells, all that stuff. Share it with your friends. And uh, until next time, we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Take care.